Okay, folks. Or Sega bum side. I think he's played 20 NFL football games and he's only had 10 catches. Um, it's easy to say that the Eagles are in order to hit when it comes to project players. I think that they need to tell Orsega Bumside to hand in his playbook because he's holding the roster back. They they could have potentially signed somebody, a LeGarrette Blunt, a Bell Cow back, a role grader, a Jay Ajayi to help the backfield. Um, Arsenal Jeffries coming back. This guy had no catch today. This th I'm talking about Orsego bum side. He had no catch today. He is useless. And this Eagles team, and I said it before, if, if, if Orsega Whiteside makes this football team, that, that's a sign that the Eagles are in pure denial. They think they can coach, um, you know, trash and put trash on the field and expect to win. This Orsega Whiteside just looked like a complete and utter bum. Okay? He's been looking like a complete and utter bum. And um, Doug Peterson, grab your balls back from Harry Roseman, the brass. Tell him, listen, um, yeah, we're going to have to um, tell Orsega to put in his playbook because we're not a team that's a rebuilding franchise initially. I mean, you won, you won a Super Bowl in your second year as a head coach, Doug. Okay? You did it with a bell cow back as your front runner. Behind him, a role grader in Jay Ajayi. And then behind him, a utility back like um, Maurice Clement. And, um, you know, somebody like um, Miles Sanders. Miles Sanders is just a role player. Miles Sanders is just a utility back. Okay? So, this Eagles team this, this year has, has just been dysfunctional. Plain and simple. It's just been a dysfunctional energy. I know that if, like I said, the Eagles get rid of this guy or say a bum side, the dysfunctional energy will start to, to go away. Because, you know, the players in the locker room know this guy can't play football. They know he can't play. They know he cannot play football. And then you see the coaches... You know, pussyfooting, allowing mediocrity to be accepted. That, that's all they're doing is they're cuddling mediocrity. That's what they want to do. They want to cuddle mediocrity for the brass sake, for Harry Roseman's sake. And Joe Douglas is the reason why the Eagles won the Super Bowl. He brought in LeGarrette Blunt and, and, and Ajayi. He was the architect of how this Eagles backfield was going to be how the Eagles secondary was going to be. He was the architect of, um, you know, how the team was going to be a, a, a force to be reckoned with. You win the Super Bowl and then all of a sudden, fan base say Harry Roseman is the God. And I don't understand that. I truly don't understand that one drop, one bit. The Eagles let the best GM go. It should have been, it, sh it should easily have been Harry Roseman that left the Eagles, and they kept, and they should have stayed with Joe uh, Douglas. So I'm gonna just, you know, leave this season in the laps of Doug Peterson not having no balls. I'm sorry, you can't coach JJ or Sego Whiteside. He's trash cans. He's the worst wide receiver I've ever seen in pro football history. All right, I'm 40 years old. I've never seen somebody that that terrible. I could play wide receiver if if it means I only get five catches in twenty games. I could do that. Most people could do that. Most people can catch a little catch. And you call this guy? You call this guy an eagle? It's terrible. You know, you're only as good as your weakest player, and the weakest player in the whole Eagle squad is JJ Orsego Whiteside. If they cut him, it goes to Greg Ward. He's eating up Greg Ward's um, playing time. Greg Ward.
Greg Ward. I'm going to say it's Greg Ward, Greg Ward, Greg Ward, Greg Ward. Cut or Sega bum side. Doug Peterson, grab your balls back from the grasp of Harry Roseman's. Okay? Just grab your balls back. Cut or Sega bum side. And go Greg Ward, Greg Ward, Greg Ward, Greg Ward. Okay? Until, until Alshon Jeffrey comes back. But, you, but still, you don't have a backfield. So this, this Eagles team is far from a, a playoff team. I don't think this Eagles team makes the playoffs. You just started it, the karma wrong by keeping Orsega Whiteside. And I said, if, the, if Orsega Whiteside makes this football team by, moral stand, by, by a moral stand, you know, you know, any type of, you know, you know, just, you know, just undermining, you're afraid to undermine the brass of the Eagles. Yeah, you're, you're going to suck. You're going to suck. If, you, if you're afraid to under, undermine the Eagles brass as a head coach, you're going to suck in Philadelphia. I tell you that right now.